Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a tutorial today and this is going to be about adding a camera shake or an earthquake style effect to your character or your camera. So you could do this on trigger or something like that. Um, and it's just something that's a little simulation for your game. So all I've got in my scene is just my sample scene. I've got a cube which I'm going to set to as my actual trigger. You don't have to have it as a trigger. Um, you can just have it whenever you want to do it, but I'm going to show you with a trigger. So I just created a box, so, you know, game object, create other, then cube, and then I just got rid of the mesh renderer, left the box collider, and I made sure it is trigger. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to write a script straight off, so we're going to create a new JavaScript, and we're going to call it camera shake. So we'll open up mono develop. What we're going to do is get rid of these, and we're going to make five variables, one variable called starting shake distance and we're going to set that as type float and set it equal to 0.8 to start with. Then we're going to write another variable called decrease percentage and we're going to also set that as a type float and we're going to set that as 0.5 to start. We're going to set another variable called shake speed and again set it to float and set it to 50 we're going to create another variable called number of shakes set that to an integer and then set it equal to 10 then we're going to create another variable called cam and set that as type camera so there's some of our variables for this first bit so what we're going to do is write a function camera shake then two brackets then what we're going to do add two curly brackets here I'm going to write four variables inside our function because we're going to call the other st things that were made so we're going to call hit time as float and we're going to make that equal to time dot time going to create another variable called original position and set that as float and make that equal to cam dot transform dot local position dot x with a semicolon then we'll create another variable called shake and set that equal to the number of shakes and then we'll have another variable called shake distance and set that as type float and make equal to starting shake distance so that's what we've got for now so now we're going to create a while loop and so we're going to say while that shake is going on what we'll do is add two more curly brackets and we'll say variable timer as float is equal is equal to open brackets time dot time minus hit time close the brackets times by the shake speed and then we'll put cam dot transform dot local position dot x is equal to the original position plus math f dot sin or sign timer close brackets times by the actual shake distance and we'll put a semicolon on there so all that does is hit <clears throat> it makes sure the timer starts at zero and then it proceeds with changing the position of our shake based on some math variables so under here we'll write if timer is greater than math f dot pi times by two then we'll add two curly brackets under here and say hit time is equal to time dot time with a semicolon and then shake distance 
is times and equal to decrease percentage and then we'll say shake minus minus semicolon which means um, if it's below a certain amount we'll say that the hit time is equal to the time that we're playing through and the distance is based off a decrease percentage and while it's going through the loop it will make it count down so the shake gets um, less each time and then what we'll write down here is yield and underneath here we'll say cam dot transform dot local position dot x is equal to original position and we can save that out and go back into unity and what we can do is on our main camera we can add the shake script so you can see here now we'll add our main camera to the variable slot and these are parameters for now so we need to make a new script which is going to be a javascript which we're going to call shake trigger so this is going to go on our trigger to make it actual, actually affect the player so what we're going to do is well make a new private variable called camera shake or lowercase for this and then we'll put a call on and then we'll set it to camera shake and then in the start function we will say that camera lowercase shake is equal to game object to capitals dot find open brackets semi um speech marks main camera dot get component and then we'll write the script which is called camera shake with a semicolon we'll get rid of that update function on trigger enter open brackets write collider and then we'll say call and then we'll write collider and then we'll add our two curly brackets and here we'll write if call dot tag is equal equal to or set to player then we add the two curly brackets underneath there we say camera shake lowercase dot camera shake uppercase with two brackets and a semicolon which just means that we're making our script here the variable that we found look at the script here and activate this function which is going to be the um, do the shake so if we go on the earthquake trigger and we add the shake trigger make sure it's set to is trigger and make sure our first person controllers set to player and what we'll do is we'll walk towards here and you'll notice that we had a shake when I walked into it but what you can do to make the earthquake sort of th uh, thing more apparent is if you set the percentage decrease to 0 0.9 and maybe sh set the number of shakes to 30 and then you go here you'll notice that you get more shakes before it falls off or you can do everything like increasing the shake speed so you get a much more a much vi more violent shake but if say you didn't want the um item to fit, um fall off too uh, quickly at all you can increase the decrease percentage to 0 0.99 walk it to the collider and it'll last for much longer but of course you need to increase your number of shakes for it to last longer so it's all about an experiment with what you need and that's what you get so that's pretty much it that's um, a way to show you how to make your camera do a simplistic sort of shape which could be in turn used for a, an earthquake getting shot something like that but that's the way that you can do it and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers